Plastics. This scene is probably not the first picture that comes to mind. It is probably more of something like this. But these are the same products that end up breaking down into microplastics and nanoplastics, some so small they cannot be seen by the naked eye. But where do these products go before they break down? They might end up in a landfill, tossed out of a car window, or even recycled. But the truth is, only 5% of plastics actually get recycled in the United States, no matter if they are placed in recycling bins or not. This is because most plants consider recycling to be too expensive and costly, and often choose to dump all the trash and make new products instead. Plus, after a piece of plastic has been recycled so many times, it cannot be recycled anymore, and just gets tossed in the landfill anyway. So then these plastics that are in the landfills end up here, in our oceans, and here, in our soils. But how does this impact you? Well, that soil is the exact planting ground for the produce you buy at the store, organic or non-organic. These plastics, they infiltrate the stems, the fruit, and the overall whole of these plants, which means that the tomato you buy for your salad at the store actually has microplastics already embedded in it, which is what you and your family end up consuming. It looks something like this. And those fish at the market that you bought for your dinner table, they were constantly ingesting and storing plastics in their bodies before they were caught for you to consume them. But the scariest thing is, this plastic bioaccumulates. With just the little amount of research that has been done, microplastics have been found in our lungs, our organs, and even in our blood. These can cause cancers and neurodevelopmental disorders in kids. And contrary to what many might believe, this bioaccumulation in our bodies starts on day one of our lives. These things, these plastics, are not just something you buy at the store. They are a toxin, not just to us, but to the rest of the planet. So please, consider other alternatives in your daily life. It takes mere seconds to ask for a paper bag for your groceries or to pick up a reusable metal bottle instead of a single-use plastic one. These actions, these simple actions, can help save you, your family, and an animal from pain in life. It is these simple actions that make the difference. Now think back to the photo I showed you in the beginning, with that animal's insides being suffocated so that their organs can no longer breathe, dying an unimaginably painful death, being torn up from the inside out. You see, it is not just us that we have to save. It is them. All of them. They are who we have to save, and we need to save ourselves.